What's going on YouTube and welcome back to another video. So guys today we are taking a look at the new survival missions that they added today to Red Dead Online. So they're called Call to Arms and in this video I'm just going to show you guys how you can play them, so how to start them and also a small guide on how the missions work. So first of all if you want to play it just go to any post office or your camp, collect deliveries and then you will see you will have a delivery Call to Arms. Just collect this and then go to your satchel. In your satchel, basically go to documents, in documents, go to telegrams. If you click on telegrams, then you will basically see you have an option, call to arms. If you click on it, you will see that you have five missions. So five call to arms that you can basically play. Also guys, I have to mention this week, there is actually triple Red Dead Online cash and triple gold on these missions. So the payout will be triple this week. So keep that in mind while watching this video. Also, by the way, for the difficulty. So the first time you do it, it will be on standard. If you complete wave 10 on a call to arms mission, it will go to hard. If you complete wave 10 on hard, then it will go to rootless. Rootless, of course, will be more difficult, but the payout will also be higher. So when the mission starts, first five minutes is pure preparation. So what you have to do is basically you have some allies, some NPC allies, and you basically have to position them. Just go up to them, their white dots on the map, let them follow you, and then basically bring them to a position where you want to place them. The positions are just the yellow dots that you guys can see on the map. When you take them there, they will automatically get in the position, and then it's good. In total, 10 allies that you get in the beginning, by the way, if they die during the survival, they don't respawn. So that's also something pretty important. Then after the 5 minutes, the wave will basically start. You guys can see at top of the screen, wave 1, 24. 24 is basically the amount of enemies that you have to kill. So for the people that don't know, by the way, the way survival works is you just have a wave of enemies, a wave of NPCs coming at you, and you basically have to kill all these NPCs. In total 10 waves, if you complete wave 10, then you basically completed the mission. And like I said, then also the difficulty will move up. So if you complete it on standard wave 10, then it will go to hard. If you complete it on hard, it will go to rootless. And like I said, the payment will also be higher. After a wave, you will get one minute to prepare for the next wave. And in this one minute, you can basically collect some ammo. So you have some ammo crates on the map. These ammo crates, they refill every round. You also have health packages. If you need some health, you can also pick these up. And then also a thing that's pretty important. Between the waves, you don't have the option anymore to move the allies. So the NPC allies. But if you go up to them, you actually have the option to heal them. And this is pretty good. Because like I said, they only have one life. So if they die, they don't respawn. During the survival, so like I said, ammo that you can pick up. Health packages. You can also use horses, use wagons and also weapons from the ground that you can pick up. If you die or if your teammates die, you will respawn, but it's at the next wave. So you actually have to wait for your team to complete the wave, if they manage to complete it, of course. And then at the start of the next wave, you will respawn. If everyone dies in the same wave, you basically fail and then it's over and then you have to start all over again. So you can die as much as you want. So during each wave you can die, but just make sure that there is always one person that can finish the wave. So always one survivor. In some of the rounds, in the later rounds, like I said, it will be more NPCs, it will be harder. But you will also have some wagons that spawn. And basically, when you have these wagons, you will also see that you can pick up some dynamite and some molotox off the floor. And these are basically to blow up these wagons. Be careful for these wagons, because in this round, for example, I actually lost two teammates. And then it got really hard for me. Also, in later rounds, you get NPCs that have better armor. So they have like a can or a helmet on their head. So it's very hard to do a headshot of course then. And they have much more health than a regular NPC. Then the most important thing, the payment. So like I said this week it's triple. Over here I reached wave 7. I got 1.8 gold, 213 cash and then 2600 XP. If you complete wave 10 on normal difficulty. Normally it's one gold bar. This week with the triple, it's actually three gold bars. This is on standard. I don't know how much it is on hard and on rootless because I haven't reached this yet. But wave 10 standard as one gold bar. This week with triple, it will be three gold bars. After you complete a call to arms, doesn't matter if you failed or if you succeeded. You always get a cooldown time of 45 minutes on all of them. So you basically have to wait. The payment, in my opinion, very good for a survival. They're pretty fun. So definitely go ahead and check them out, guys. That was it for this video. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Make sure to like, subscribe. Check out my Discord in the description. And peace out, you guys.